What if you've already got a Vegas project that's open? Or maybe you want to operate Production Assistant from within Vegas. We don't have to start Production Assistant outside of Vegas. We can open it up inside the application itself. Let's look at how. Up here at the very top of Vegas Pro, we've got a toolbar. And currently, the only thing I have on my toolbar are the stock tools that Sony gives us, plus I've added a capture video tab up there. But let's go in and create a shortcut to Production Assistant from within the toolbar itself. So let's double click on the toolbar, and when we do, it opens up this customized toolbar dialog. And the first thing that I want to insert in there is going to be a separator. Okay. We've dropped in a separator. Now let's scroll down here. until we start getting into some of the Production Assistant tools. So the first thing that I want to find in here is my Production Assistant icon. We can see that. Let's double click it. And that brings that over and puts it on here. But while we're there, let's just scroll down and put a couple of the other Production Assistant tools on there. For instance, it might be that I want the Advanced Duck and I want the Channel Split and the Normalized Track and uh, maybe a Simple Duck. And why not create crossfades? Let's throw that in there as well. And I think that I want the channel split to be first in the lineup. So we'll just drag that up here so that it's right after Production Assistant. And then we'll drag the normalized track. So you can see by clicking and dragging, I can prioritize my different buttons. So I think next I want create crossfades. Let's choose close. And now up here in the toolbar, you can see that we've got Production Assistant. There's our channel split, our normalized track. There's our create crossfades, our advanced duck, and our simple duck. So let's click on Production Assistant, and that's going to launch it. And it's automatically going to dock because that's where I last had it. Now we can tear that out of the dock, or we can drag it back up and, and drop it into the dock space. I like having it docked. That's a, a great place for me to work. You'll notice, again, everything's the same. Source media, processing, target output, and here's all of our tools on the toolbar. But we've also put some of those same tools up here on this toolbar. So there's quite a few things that we can do with it. And that's all there is to opening up the Production Assistant from within Vegas or on the Vegas toolbar or on the timeline. So I recommend that you do take the time to put these tools up on your toolbar because you're going to have a lot more fun when you're accessing these tools quickly from the Vegas Pro toolbar.